Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pepsi Ranch. Today we've got another home theater audio related video for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be looking at how to uh, test, troubleshoot, and evaluate a potentially blown uh, driver in a larger speaker like this. But as usual, if you enjoy the content, hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you are notified for the next video. All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is the setup we have for testing. This is the CC390 speaker we're gonna test. And um, we've got a receiver here. Uh, just to produce some sounds and then we've got a, uh, a phone here hooked up with an RCA uh, into the receiver uh, 3.5 millimeter jack into the phone and uh, what we've got on the phone is just a 20 to 20 thousand hertz frequency suite from Spotify and you can grab that from anywhere um, but what we're going to do is, is basically just play this frequency suite um, cranked up to about I think we have it on 15 uh, minus 15 dB and, uh, and listen for any abnormal responses from uh, any of the drivers in this speaker. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that and uh, listen for what we can hear. All right, so you can hear uh, the transition from 20, the low frequency, all the way up to the high 20,000 hertz frequency. And you can tell somewhere in the middle here, uh, we had um, some strange vibrations from, uh, it sounded like this driver here. Um, and that was very clear to me. Hopefully you guys can hear it uh, on your end, but it's, uh, it's just, it changes, um, changes more to like a rattle or a vibration as opposed to a smooth uh, sound or frequency. Uh, so I'll play it again for you guys real quick just that middle portion. Yeah, so that's uh, it's definitely something going on here. Definitely a problem here with this driver. Uh, so what we'll, what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and open this up and disconnect this driver specifically from the back and uh, retry that and see if, uh, see if any other issues are going on uh, or if uh, the rest of the drivers are good. All right, so that's uh, seven screws that hold this um, tweeter and mid-range assembly. Uh, so we'll get this out. Uh, be careful when you take, if you're, if you're messing with a CC390 or uh, other Paradigm speakers use the same technique or uh, assembly in having sort of sub-assemblies put together and then all tied together. So they have these little plastic washers in here. So when you pull this out, those little plastic washers are gonna fall down. Uh, so just um, try to grab those. I've already lost one. So. Um, so we'll get that out and um, go from there, it goes on. All right, so this is the, um, this is that sub assembly I was talking about. And uh, you can see it's all sort of, uh, you got your two mid ranges and your uh, tweeter all in one uh, packaged up assembly. And then on the back of that, you've got your, um, you've got your board and hookups. Uh, for all the connections uh, in this speaker. So we can see here, uh, we've got um, your, your input uh, here on the right side. We've got your, um, I believe this is the uh, tweeter um, here. Yeah, that's for the T plus and T minus. Uh, your four um, low range drivers are here and then your mid range drivers are here on the left. So you've got a M1 plus minus and then an M2 plus minus. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna take a guess at which one, actually we don't need to guess because uh, you can see uh, this left side, it looks like is coming from, um, is coming from, from here and going to M1, I believe it is. And then M2 is coming to, it's coming into the enclosure here, which I'm guessing then transfers over to this uh, right side over here. So we'll we'll try and guess with um, M2 and we'll disconnect that. We'll just pull those uh, spade connectors out 
and put them to the side. All right, so that, that doesn't um, touch anything, we'll sort of tuck those up uh, up top here. And you don't want those, uh, you don't want those um, making contact with anything. Um, all right, so that was, um, that was disconnecting that driver. Uh, hopefully that's the right one uh, for, for what was making uh, issues. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put this back in and we'll rerun that frequency sweep. So we got that uh, all back together with the driver unplugged from there. We'll go ahead and run the frequency sweep again and see if we hear any noises coming from it. So we'll go ahead and stand this stuff back up and play that. All right, so this speaker's back up and remember we've got this driver disconnected now. So uh, we'll rerun the frequency sweep and, uh, and see how that sounds. So that, that sounded pretty good. I didn't hear anything, but we'll go ahead and replay that, that center section just to make sure on the mid frequencies. All right, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not hearing anything like we were before. Uh, so with that driver disconnected, uh, we're just using the single mid range now and uh, that'll sound much better uh, than it would with a busted driver. So uh, I'll probably just run it like that uh, with the single uh, uh, mid range disconnected mainly because to fix this, I would need to get into uh, that sub assembly to repair that speaker, whatever's going on with it. So um, I may do that uh, one day in the future, but for now, I'll probably just hook it back up, rerun the Odyssey calibration and just roll with it. I'm sure it still sounds great. Um, so so that's, that's basically it. Just uh, if you're looking to sort of figure out how to um, narrow down which speaker is giving you problems. The easiest way I've found, um, and I'm sure there's other ways, but the easiest way I've found is to just run the frequency sweep 20 to 20,000 hertz, and you can quickly uh, drive into which, uh, which speaker is giving you the problem, and you can, uh, it just gives you an opportunity to hear it a lot better, uh, easier, and you can rerun certain parts instead of trying to listen to like audio tracks or, or different things. Um, just run a simple frequency sweep. All right, so that's a wrap on that. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, as usual, like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. God bless.